Hello, I'm LazerJet and welcome back to Train Simulator 2022. Most of you are aware that I am not a big fan of American locomotives, but there are some American locomotives that I actually really, really like. But it's very rare that I do these videos because one of my fans sent me a link to a website called Machine Rail. And they have an American locomotive, which I really like. And it's this, the 1891 Rogers 10 Wheeler. Now this DLC costs about £10.72. and pence. But if you're European, that's just under 13 euros. Or if you're from the United States, it's about $14.23. So I will leave a link in the description below of Machine Rails' website so you guys can go buy this DLC. But not only that, I actually have a code that you guys can use to get 10% off when you make a purchase of this DLC. I will leave the discount code right here on the screen uh, and I will leave it in the description below so you guys can copy this code, uh, go to the website, make your purchase, use that discount code to get 10% off when you're making a purchase to a DLC, guys. Um, make sure you do that because uh, it's it, this is a good DLC and I'll show you why you should get this uh, amazing add-on. Uh, let me just get into the review because uh, I'll show you why you should buy this. So in this pack you get four different types of engines, but I'm only reviewing two of them because I just thought like, you know, two's enough, isn't it? So this is what they look like. So we got a clean version and a dirty version. I do love the look of the dirty version. And you get two different sets of funnels, which I think is quite cool. And I have to say the detail in these engines are insane. I mean, look at the detail in, like, the bolts, the rivets, I mean, the, the funnel, the headlamps, the handrails, the, the bell. I love the bell. Even the chime whistle. I mean, look at that whistle. Look at look at the detail in just, like, just that section of the whistle. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. And if we press H, the detail in the lamp and the light is just incredible. I mean... Oh, I, I, I've been waiting so long for, for this engine to, like, exist in Train Splitter. I don't know how long this is, this thing's been out for, but I thought I'd do a review on it as soon as I possibly... Well, when I found out this thing exists, I'm so glad uh, a fan of mine sent this to me on Discord because um, without him, I wouldn't have never known that this existed. So, I'm so a big thank you to my fan. You know who you are for sending this to me on Discord. You know who you are. Thank you so much. And let's have a quick look in the cab. Now, the cab... Is a wonderful place to be in. I mean, it looks it, it looks old west. Well, it is old western, I, I think. Like, well, you know, the old west. Uh, if we press B, we get to actually activate the bell, and the bell actually has animation. Look at that! It's like um, looks like Smokebox made it because like Smokebox do an amazing amount of detail. So let's press B again, and I think if we press was it V? Yep. If you press V, the uh, the roof latch opens, which I think is really cool, and it actually works on the outside. And we actually have cab light as well. Ooh, we've got a big light bulb there that actually lights up the whole cab. But we'll turn it off for now because it's midday. We don't need it on. Um, and we'll give, give a quick two of the whistle. Ooh, that's nice. I do like the sound of the whistle. I mean, listen to this. That's pure American magnificence, that is. We'll go over to the rusty one as well, because I feel like I want to drive the rusty one. The, the, the weathered one, I should say. The weather one does look good. I do like the look of the funnel of the, uh, of the, uh, rusty one. Or weathered one, I should say. Uh, let's have a quick look in the cab. And you can also open the doors. <laughs> You can open the doors in this DLC, or in this engine, I should say. Um, but the, the detail in the cab is insane. Like, the amount of stuff you can do is is brilliant. I mean, I just love oh, Look at it. It's just so amazingly detailed. I feel like we should get moving. So let's release the brakes, put the engine in forward. Uh, we don't actually have to go anywhere, so that's good. We're just going to have a nice drive around, and I'm going to go nice and slowly onto the turntable. And just have a little drive around because like these things are beautiful and as I said you guys should get this I'll leave a link to uh, uh, machines uh, rail um, website in the description below so let's give ourselves a bit more power onto the turntable we go and the shadowing in this angle just looks beautiful so we're nice and easy oh we need to put our headlight on don't we you need to drive responsibly and carefully Oliver very nice and it, it looks good, and I have to say that I think that um, this particular engine actually still exists today. So we're going to stop, apply the brakes on the turntable, very nice. 
Uh, am I going the wrong way? We need to go this way. Whee! Oh, I forgot. I forgot how fun turntables are. Uh, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Pressing Shift G to activate the turntable. Very nice. It's a bit glitchy, but you know I'll uh, have to live with that. And I think one more will do. There we go. Beautiful. And then we can release our brakes. Put the engine forward. And listen to this sound effects. It's always about the sound effects and the detail when it comes to locomotives. And I, I, I don't review much American stuff. And I think I should because I've been looking down at American locos for a long time. And I don't know why because they look fantastic and they sound brilliant. And because we're on the move, uh, we have to activate our bell to let um, the workers know that there's an engine on the move. It's, uh, I'm a responsible driver. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, we'll press C to turn uh, the steam off. Very nice. There is a proper word for it, but I don't know. Ah, oh, but look at this. It's a proper, uh, this is a proper, proper, I meant to say proper American engine here. Like, like, not all Americans have to be, like, big, massive, and strong, and, like, super wide or anything. Like, some, some classic American steam engines can be small, but really useful. I mean, looking at this, this is like, um, like, like, if I was comparing this with a British steam engine, this is like the Americans' version of a Black 5 or something. But it's so cool. I mean, we're in the desert. You know, I've got my bell working. Do a few toots of the whistle. It's a lovely whistle, that. I tell you what, let's press a V again to open the hatch, the roof hatch. Oh, but this is so... And I think the thing is, because this engine is so small, it's designed to go, like... Through the like the, the the sidings and stuff, it's it's like a shunter engine really, or or it could be a light freighter. I don't, I don't know, or a passenger engine. I don't know what these engines are actually built for. Probably freight. I'm assuming because you know I don't know much about American trains, but maybe this engine was designed, maybe doing freight runs, or or maybe it was a mixed traffic engine. Who knows? Maybe it could be a mixed traffic, which means um it could be pull passengers and freight. Maybe maybe it can do both. We want to get some speed up just a little bit, although the speed limit is 20, which we're slightly speeding already. And I don't know if you noticed, but like we've, I want to have a look at the tender because what do you think is missing? Have a good look at this tender. What is missing on this tender, do you think? That's right. It doesn't have coal. And the reason why it doesn't have coal is just, again, I'm assuming because, you know, I don't know much about American engines, but this is an oil burning steam engine. I think. I think it burns oil, not not coal. Because I know there's some American engine out there that burn logs, like proper logging locos and stuff. But uh, log burning locos, or some engines use coal. But some engines in America use uh, use oil to burn to make steam. I mean, it's a possibility. I mean, it's got no coal, so it's the only possible explanation. And there's no logs either, so that's that's you know something interesting here. Americans might be onto something, which might be genius. But I just love everything about this. This 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 particular engine is just. It's beautiful, even though it's like all rusted and weathered and and dirty and everything. But apart from that, it's just, it's it, it it it's beautiful. It looks like a very strong, hard worker, and like the detail in like the front plow and like the rods and the pistons and the wheels and even the cab and the tender and just everything about this. I don't, I. When I look at American engines in Trace Simulator, I try and see any fault, like if there's anything wrong with them. But for this, I don't see anything wrong with this engine in this particular DLC. The sound effects are good, the detail is good. Um, I'm blown away from by the like the, the the animation on the bell. Like if we press uh, the B again, I mean look at that, bing bing. The, like the rope actually gets pulled as well. Like if we go inside the cab, the rope is actually being pulled. That is. That is incredible. And yes, you can open the windows from the side because you've got to open the windows because it's very hot here in America. And I just love from the side view. You get like a proper lovely side view here. Like you see a bit of the wheel, the bell, the funnel and just everything. It's, it's so cool. I, I highly recommend getting this, guys. I, 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 like if you, if you love American trains, this is an, a DLC you should have. You've just got to. Now, going back to the cleaner one, where it's, like, not weathered at all, uh, you've got this beautiful yellow and red striping and lining on, on the side of the tent and the cab, and you've got these beautiful white rings, like, on the outside of the wheels, and it's just... 
it's just gorgeous. I mean, this one is extremely pretty. But I have to be honest, I'm not a massive fan with these type of funnels, but it does look good on this engine. So I can't actually, just because it's a funnel I don't like, doesn't mean I should hate the entire engine. You know, it's just a funnel. But we'll ring the bell again, release the brakes, give us a little bit of steam and power, and we'll move very slowly and slightly onto the turntable. How beautiful this is. It's such a such a gorgeous like American engine. This is this is like a pure classic American 1800 steam engine. I don't know when this thing was built. Again, not a big idea fan with American engines, but it's 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 still good. I just love everything about this. It's just fantastic. Now, I did say before that this DLC it does cost £10, but uh, as I said, I'll leave a, um, a discount link, or not link, a code or something or other, uh, right here on the screen. I'll leave it, also leave it in the description below so you guys can just copy and paste. Um, and you get 10% off when you're making a purchase uh, on uh, Machine Rails website. So I recommend buying this, guys. It is, it's, it's such a good DLC. Like, it's money wor well worth it. I, I'm not very good at se selling, like, you know, making sales and stuff. Like, I'm, I'm not very good at selling it to you guys. Because, you know, I, I just review stuff. I'm not, I'm not a very good businessman. But, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best. But a quick important note, once you have bought the DLC, you've got to download the texture files uh, separately. Uh, it's completely free though, the texture files, uh, because uh, the, the actual folder is quite big. So um, all you have to do is just download the texture folder and just drag and put it into the actual folder where you put the actual DLC in Train Simulator. It's, it's quite simple. But if you get stuck or if you have a few questions, just contact Machine Rail. Uh, they're very helpful. They've helped me. I mean, I had a few questions and they, they got back to me straight away. They're, they're very reliable and they're, they're very good. So uh, uh, thank you to uh, Machine Rail as well for helping me out a little bit because um, uh, I didn't know what I was doing because like, like, I didn't know what like, bit goes in where. They're, they're very helpful. So a big thank you to them. And uh, guys, uh, check out their website. As I said, leave a link in the description below so you guys can check it out. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this amazing video make sure you click that subscribe button follow me on twitter and instagram all my social media nonsense is in the description below uh, make sure you follow me on them you don't have to it's just there you know keep updated of when i'm gonna upload again or you can just turn the notification bell on because you know that because you know i upload and this is what we do on the laser youtube channel we try out new things but thank you so much for watching have a good day and i'll see you guys again next time oh and one more thing uh, the discount code uh, will expire on the 31st of uh, of this month. So you got to be quick, guys, because uh, on the 31st of this month, uh, you won't be able to use that code ever again. So if you're watching this, like, six months later, um, you're, you're, you're late. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but, yeah, be quick, guys. Use that cap, uh, discount code now, and uh, you've got a time gap. So be quick about it. Okay, uh, bye. <laughs>